Hello students, in a series of applications of simple harmonic motion, this is our second video based on simple pendulum. In this video, we are going to discuss period of a simple pendulum. We know student motion of the pop of a simple pendulum is a part of a vertical circle. To find the period of a simple pendulum, the pendulum should perform simple harmonic motion. Oscillatory motion of an object along straight path is known as a simple harmonic motion. So let's understand when I can say that the pendulum performs simple harmonic motion. For that, our first condition is the amplitude of vibration that is the angular displacement should be small. Here I use the word vibration since the displacement that is the angular displacement is small. When the angular displacement is small, frequency is high and the period is low. Hence, the motion is not called oscillatory motion in that case it calls vibration motion second condition internal restoring force is a proportional to displacement and acts in opposite direction of a displacement now let's understand how this simple pendulum satisfies these two condition for that let's consider a pendulum which is displaced by an amplitude of a three by amplitude of a 10 degree. Let L be the length of a simple pendulum and the theta is the angular displacement. The tension T acts along the string towards the point of suspension and the Mg acts vertically downward. Let's resolve Mg, these two components of the Mg. As here you have a angle theta, this component is the mg cos theta and this one is the mg sin theta. Here you can see student the tension and that of mg cos theta acts opposite to each other. And these forces are responsible to provide the centripetal force. Hence I can write t minus mg cos theta is equal to mv square upon L. So the subtraction between or difference between the t minus mg cos theta gives the centripetal acceleration. This centripetal acceleration is responsible to change the direction of a motion of the ball. For a small amplitude of vibration, theta that is the angular displacement is a major in radian. So that cos theta is approximately equal to 1. Let's substitute this value in above equation. We have t approximately equal to mg. As a t is approximately equal to mg, we have a negligible centripetal force. This centripetal force, as I already mentioned you student, is responsible to change in the direction of motion. For the negligible centripetal force, there is no change in the direction of motion of the bob. Hence, the bob vibrates linearly. So, when you have a, such a motion, such a linear motion, we can use the formula or we can write x is equal to l into theta where x is the linear displacement and l is the radius of a vertical circle and theta is the angular displacement. With the continuation with this equation x is equal to l theta. Let's find out the horizontal forces acts on the ball. Here the internal restoring force f is equal to minus mg sine theta. This is the only force which is act on the pendulum to which is responsible to bring the bob back to the mean position. Here again we know student that uh, theta is very small. For a small theta that is for small angular displacement sine theta is approximately equal to theta. So we can have the equation f is equal to minus mg into theta. So from the star equation, I substitute the value of a theta. I have f is equal to minus mg x divided by L, which is the equation number one. Here, I can write the internal restoring force proportional to displacement. Since mass of the bob, acceleration due to gravity and the length of the pendulum are all are constant. Only variable is the displacement. Hence, the force is the proportional to displacement and acts in opposite direction of the displacement. Here the force or here you have acceleration which is a tangential acceleration as the forces act along the 
tangent to the vertical circle hence the force is called the tangential force and acceleration is called axle and acceleration is called tangential acceleration so i can write the tangential acceleration is a proportional to the displacement this tangential acceleration is responsible to change the magnitude of motion that is speed now let's find out the net acceleration act on the bob a net is equal to under root of ac square that is the centripetal acceleration square and the tangential acceleration square as we know student for the very small displacement the tension force get balanced by the mg cos theta so that the centripetal acceleration equal to zero this centripetal acceleration is responsible to change the direction of motion but this centripetal acceleration is zero hence the motion of the bob is along straight path so here we satisfies the first condition for the simple harmonic motion so the net acceleration on the bob is a tangential acceleration so that i can write the internal restoring force f is equal to m into a where a is the net acceleration i never mentioned the tangential acceleration over here i mentioned the net acceleration a so f is equal to m into a which is equal to minus in minus mg x upon l so again i can write this internal restoring force is a proportional to the displacement since the mass g and the length are constant this is the second requirement for the simple harmonic motion as the pendulum satisfies these two condition we can say the pendulum performs simple harmonic motion now let's find the period of a simple pendulum now let's understand what is the period of a simple pendulum the time required to complete a single oscillation is known as a period of a simple pendulum if the pendulum starts from the right extreme and again back to the right extreme then we can say the one oscillation is complete now from about discussion we know internal restoring force f is equal to m into a where a is the total acceleration which is equal to minus m into g x upon l mm get cancelled so i have acceleration a is equal to minus g into bracket x upon l acceleration per unit length is equal to minus g upon l if i consider only magnitude then i write it as a g by l we know period of oscillatory motion t is equal to 2 pi by omega where omega is the angular frequency which is equal to 2 pi upon under root of acceleration per unit length here we know the acceleration per unit length which is equal to g by l in a magnitude so i substitute this value the period of a pendulum t is equal to 2 pi under root of l by g note down here student this formula is applicable for a small amplitude if the amplitude is large in that case tension is not get balanced with the mg cos theta if it is not so then there is a centripetal acceleration and that centripetal acceleration changes the direction of the motion of the bob so the bob of a pendulum no longer perform linear motion it perform motion along arc which spoils the condition for the simple harmonic motion hope you understand the concept thank you do like share and subscribe my channel